coin budget friends it's your girl shalisha and in today's video we are going to budget out my first paycheck for the month of august so if you like budgeting videos cash stuffing sinking funds single mother finances on a low income go ahead and hit that like and subscribe bell so you don't miss the time when i post if this is your first time seeing my video hey thank you so much for clicking on it if you're a returning subscriber and oldie but goodie hey hey thank you so much for coming on back so guys i'm excited budgeting time so we are going to budget out my first paycheck that I am scheduled to receive in a couple of days. Um, if you saw my last video, that was my monthly budget. And you know that we are going to be over budget. We're going to be in the negative. It, Yeah, the numbers aren't working the way that I want them to. But it's okay. We are going to make it do what it do. Okay. So um, if you have been on my channel, then you know I do do the paycheck Um paycheck by paycheck budgeting if you have not been on my channel you're like sis what are you talking about so i budget my paycheck from the day that i receive it to the day before i receive my next paycheck so i'm going to receive my first paycheck which is going to be on the 12th of august and i'm going to pay every bill that i need to before my next paycheck which is going to be the 26th i'm going to pay everything from the 12th to the 25th if you're like sis what about the bills that um came before the 12th I paid all of those bills with my month ahead fund. So um, I have just depleted my month ahead fund. So now I'm starting over completely. So my August mortgage, my HOA, as well as my Disney Plus, my Spotify, and my AT&T internet have already been paid with my income that I received in July. So we are going to pay everything from the 12th through the 25th. Um, as well as we are still going to try and put something towards our emergency fund as well as our sinking fund So we are going to see how these coins play out and we are also going to be adding money into daycare because daycare um, Expense has came back. So um, This is my monthly budget that we did um, in my last video if you have not seen it I'll link it up in the clouds above, but this is how we did we are going to get to budgeting. So um on the 12th, I have my payday. Um, so I have ComEd, Walmart, and Target that's due. On the 19th, I have State Farm. Um, and then on the 25th, I have Night Corp. In addition to those, I do pay my tithes, which is 10% of my income that I give back to the Lord. Um, and then I also have daycare that I have to include. And uh, I do start budgeting for my mortgage for the month of September with this income. So we're going to see how it plays out and hopefully we got something left. So um, I am budgeting out $1,200. You guys know I under budget my income and I over budget my bills. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to list out all of the bills that I'm going to be paying um, for this as well as my debts, which I do consider my credit cards my debts, even if I do use them or I don't use them. I still like to list them just in case um, I do charge something. Um, and then we're going to list out my savings, which are going to be my emergency fund and my sinking funds. So um, grab a drink and we are going to get to listing out our bills all right guys so we went ahead and we have listed out all of um my financial obligations um so we are going to see how this adds up um i think i'm already over budget but we are going to go ahead and see so we have my ties which is 10 percent of my income and then for my com ed we have 150 dollars for State Farm, 117, and um, for Night Core is 150. And guys, these are just budgeted um, amounts. Uh, for my mortgage, for putting towards the month of September is 500. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we're already over budget. So, <sighs> and the calculator doesn't want to work. So homegirl is gonna have to definitely do some side hustles and figure out how this is going to work because we are 237 dollars um over our budget so i'm gonna put negative one thousand four hundred and thirty seven dollars um, so that means if I charge something for my Walmart card, I won't have any enough to pay that back um, right away. And then for sinking funds, that means I have nothing to put into sinking funds. 
for emergency fund. I don't have anything for emergency fund. And um, there was one more thing that I was trying to say for. Maybe not. Maybe just thinking funds. Oh, cash envelopes. I don't have anything for my cash envelopes as of right now. So if I bring in $1,200, sis is literally only paying for her four walls. And that's it. Um, I could possibly see if these bills are going to be the variable bills like the ComEd and the NICOR will be lower to maybe give us a little bit of relief um, or hopefully my income is a little bit higher. But if not, then sis is going to be doing some side hustles, Uber, possibly um, DoorDash, um, possibly using my YouTube income, my Etsy shop, as well as um you know, selling of my envelopes, you know, whatever it is that's going to combat this uh, negative amount. So we are going to see what the income is going to be. I do receive this paycheck in a couple of days. So I'm hoping um, that we can make it work. If not, y'all, we just gonna, we gonna do what we need to do. If I'm, you know, putting a portion towards my night court and a portion towards my comment, then, you know, sis is gonna do what she needs to do. As long as I have peace of mind, as long as I'm not, you know, struggling as long as I'm not um in a place where you know lights and things are being cut off I'm good you know my my daughter's well taken care of paying these bills is what is important in making sure that we are financially secure so you know like I said I am a low income and for most people that are on on a low income or you know low income families this is this is the norm you know for me, stuffing a thousand dollars into cash, you know, for cash for sinking funds is is not my thing. I love everyone that can do that. It's very exciting and motivating. But for me, you see, I don't got nothing left to stuff, so I might be stuffing some quarters. I don't know, but here I am. I'm being transparent and open, and I'm hoping that this is going to. Um, help someone else that's in a, a similar situation. Um, but like I said, I am going to come back and I am going to um, do my actuals when I receive the income and we are going to move from there. But I am trusting God and, you know, I'm relying on him. I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to stress because he don't want that for me and I don't want that for me. So y'all, I'll see you in that next video. And we are going to be talking about this money and how how we're going to divvy it up but i'll see you in my next video if you have any questions please let me know remember this is the august um, budget kit it does come with a month calendar as well as a monthly breakdown it comes with the paycheck breakdown as well as the cash envelopes breakdown and we do have some expense trackers in the back so if you are interested, it is linked in my Etsy shop down below. So go ahead and check it out. Um, if not, I'll see you in my next video. Be blessed, guys. Bye.